Meet IM6718, an unassuming clay tablet from ancient Babylon dating back to 1770 BCE. Little did we know, this tablet holds the key to a mathematical revelation. Contrary to popular belief, the Pythagorean theorem wasn't the brainchild of Pythagoras. This Babylonian tablet used the theorem centuries before Pythagoras was even born around 570 BCE. Another tablet from 1800-1600 BCE displayed a square with labeled triangles, showcasing the Babylonians' deep understanding of advanced mathematical concepts, even before Pythagoras. In a paper on the topic, mathematician Bruce Ratner concludes, the Babylonians knew the relation between the length of the diagonal of a square and its side, d equals square root of 2. This ancient knowledge likely included the Pythagorean theorem more than a thousand years before the great sage for whom it was named. So why did this get attributed to Pythagoras? No original writing from Pythagoras survived. What we know of him was passed on by others, in particular, the Pythagoreans, members of a school he set up in what is now modern-day southern Italy, the semicircle of Pythagoras, played a crucial role in popularizing the theorem. While Pythagoras may not have invented the theorem, his school's influence ensured its prevalence for thousands of years. The legacy endures, and the theorem remains a cornerstone of geometry. Until next time, Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep expanding the boundaries of knowledge.